Welcome back to the channel. We're here at Heritage Bank Stadium in the Gold Coast for a big clash between Gold Coast and the Saints. We're here with Crouchy. He's featured before on the channel. But yeah, this is obviously a massive game because the Saints are in some shock and form. So are the Suns, but they've sacked Stewie Do, which it's always the new coach, interim coach, always plays well um, for their first game back, which makes me a little bit nervous. But we do play well against the Suns. Uh, I think we've won our last eight or whatever. So haven't been here at this stadium since 2014. It's a pretty unique one, honestly. I'm not going to lie. It's a very unique stadium with some of the stuff you've got. Got a slushy before the game as well. But I'm going to go the Saints with it by 10 points because it's a big game and I think we'll stand up for the challenge. Give you a tip with your Saints scarf on. Well, the Suns normally play pretty well up at the stadium, so... Yeah, that's what I'm nervous about. They're actually know. all right. Hopefully it's a good game, I'll say. Saints are close on Saints by eight. Ten minutes till the uh, first bound. Suns are running out, but it's very, very dead, as you probably expect at a ground like this. We're not the Collingwood Magpies, so of course we're going to have a fuck all crowd as the Suns are running out. It, it, like it's the most Suns fans I've all seen at one place at a time, but even then, there's almost more Saints fans here, I'd have to say. Like, it's just dead. First bounce here at Heritage Bank. It's weird with this uh, stadium, there's only one big screen and it's behind me. Lokosius takes a strong mark and will have a snap around the body and kicks the first for Gold Coast. I tell you what, not surprised with that start to be honest. I have a feeling Gold Coast will get off to a bit of a hot one, which isn't necessarily what we want. And it's weird as well, barely an atmosphere, really average. Like, well, there are more St Kilda fans, I reckon, when, they, when we score a goal. Especially in the, in the stands over there. It's been a Gold Coast dominant start as Atkins lines up and puts a second goal towards Gold Coast in the first nine and a bit minutes of the first quarter here. A bit of a concern already uh, because we used to be a good hot starting side with our first quarters, but we've, we've, we haven't had a good first quarter in quite a while now, which is disappointing. Fucking hell, this is shit now. 19 to 0 in the first 12 minutes. We're really starting to get worried with. Um, the way Gold Coast have been just dominating, especially winning the ball in the midfield. We haven't applied too much pressure at all. Oh, this is going to be a really shit interstate trip, isn't it? For our first goal, Caminiti has fucked that badly. Great. Well, that's it for the quarter. Could have been worse, I guess, but well, not much worse, to be honest. That is. Not a start you want. That's our first goalless quarter in the first, I believe, and it had to have come on a really important moment as well, an important game where really, if we don't win this, I don't see us making finals. Definitely need a lift in the second quarter. We've certainly still got a chance to win this. It's only 19 points. Yeah, goalless first term. It's just not good enough. Come on, Cooper Sharman. Yes! Finally! Hallelujah, we score a goal. Oh, bloody hell, that was about time. We finally score a goal and the margin's down to 13 points. So really, we are definitely still in this contest and we can continue on something in this second quarter. We can get it up right on top, possibly. Yes! I think that's a goal. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a free kick. It will end up being a goal. We've kicked two to start the second quarter. Took Miller has Absolutely shanked it. Comes down to this end. We are 10 minutes into this second quarter and we haven't seen a goal down this end, which is remarkably weird. Chance for three goals in a row now for the Saints. Great tackle from Mitch Owens, as you can see behind. It's a weird, it's weird, because I feel like half the people will probably be turning their necks to watch the, uh, the goal from behind. I might just leave it there, to be honest with you. Mitch Owens. To make it two points. And I honestly could not even see where that ball went, but from the reaction, I don't think that went in. We're 15 minutes into this second, and we still haven't seen a goal down this end. I hope it honestly doesn't happen this half, because obviously the Suns are kicking down this end. Crouchy wants to find the ball for a mark, and... 
Oh, he almost gets there. He doesn't get near enough. Unfortunately, the Suns break the trend and kick a goal. Margin blows back out to 14 points. As that guy's... Well, there's no point because he gets the ball and just gives That's it back the to the lady. Only at Metricon that you're allowed to just walk in randomly into a cheer squad to try and catch the ball. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get down to this. Oh, shit. It won't be a goal. And those kids have just wasted their time. Now time to go all the way back. How's he kicked that? Not surprising. It's Lukosius and they've kicked two in a row here, the Suns. All of a... Hard work in the first bit of the quarter has gone to waste. It's 22 points again. This is really crap. Well, it looks looking pretty difficult, honestly, to see us winning it from here. We can't score. I think we're probably the worst side when it comes to scoring. Other than West Coast in the competition, I'd say, in the last six, seven weeks, our form has been diabolical. And we're making every single side we play look like a, a top eight quality team. Because, you know, the Gold Coast Suns are just doing what they need to do. They're defending way too easily. And St Kilda, uh, getting it inside 50 and it's coming back out straight after. I'm not really sure what we're going to do to be able to fix that. But maybe some better inside 50s could be a, a good start. Regardless though, yeah, half time, 22 points we're down by. We've got to triple our score just to be up by eight. Well, it's getting even worse now to start off the third. Already another goal for Gold Coast. And again, for us, we get inside 50, we get it straight to a Gold Coast player. 42 to eight, uh, 14, it's a 28 point lead. And we're screwed, we're fucking screwed. At least the, uh, the food here at Metricon's actually half decent. Or well, not Metricon, Heritage. Worst name though, because the Suns haven't got a Heritage. 27 points here. Mateus Filippo has got to kick this. We have not scored a goal down this end all game so far, and it needs to go through. Yes! yes! To get it back to 27 points. Looks like that went through. Couldn't see it go through, but it's a goal back to 27 points. All I can say is shit. Oh, it's blown back out to 34. I really do not think this is actually going to end up happening. I thought we'd put up more of a fucking fight than this. We're a joke of a footy club at the moment. I know the Suns can be good at this crap, like, but we should have at least put up more of a fight. Here we go, Saints get a clearance. Forgot Hunter was even playing. Finally get a good play. You could probably see behind on the big screen. Hunter Clark delivered it to Cooper Sharman. Let's kick the goal. Pretty flat though still. But it's something I guess to cheer about with it being 28 points. There you go, another one. That sounds a siren for three quarter time. Another shit quarter, but at least we got a few goals in that one. I think we scored three, so we did double our score. I did say we needed to do so, but in the same time, I think Gold Coast kicked four. I can't remember exactly how that quarter played out, because it was definitely, a, maybe five actually. Yeah, we're not winning this game, unfortunately. It's just the same old story for St Kilda with our season crumbling away. We kick the first of the last, which is something that we haven't been able to do in any quarter. I think kick the oh, actually no, we're doing it in the second, but regardless, it's giving us just a slight bit of hope with 23 points, and that's what happens when you start lowering your eyes. We're just getting a little bit on top, I feel, this quarter. Um, it's only 23. To be honest with you, it feels like it should be a lot more. They get the easiest goal of their lives. They just go down one end as a loose player. But every time we seem to go into a 50, we do not look at a target. We just bomb and hope and pray, and that's a difference. It's 29 points, and that's curtains now, I think. Come on, Anthony. Goal! It's a good kick. It's back to 23. Suns put the nail on the coffin, and are up by 31 now with probably only six, seven minutes to go in this game. And what a disappointing game it's been from the start of it. It just never looked like it was going our way. I don't think we've led for any of this game, so it's just a real disappointment because I thought this was a real opportunity for us to put a bit of a scalp and uh, prove ourselves to still a top eight quality side. I guess right now I almost feel like we are a bottom four quality side and we've certainly played like that for the last eight weeks. Oh, he's going to do it. Oh, oh, he's done it. Oh, he's done it. (laughs) 
There you go. Uh, honestly, I should have done the same thing. I really should have just done the same thing as a state, state supporter. That is... That's funny. But the result's not funny. It's, uh, it, it really is actually getting worrying now for St Kilda because I thought this would be a much better effort. But with the uh, limited Suns fans in the crowd, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pathetic performance to be honest with you. We, we, we lose it by 26 points here at Heritage Bank Stadium and our final chances are hanging by a thread. Well, it's the post game. We're here at Heritage Bank on the ground. Uh, yeah, that was a disappointing result. Shocking game. Oh there was a shit. Oh no! Oh. Go Sun! Go Sun! Oh, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting swarmed. I'm getting swarmed. They've got their 15 seconds of screen time. We're gonna end the vlog here. I was gonna try and say more, but I can't. I'm not happy. Subscribe. I'm not happy. See you in the next video. We are the sons of the Gold Coast. I wear the.